Today's video is the tribute to SK. And if you've seen my video about a week ago, I talked about the sale of SK to a Chinese company and how upsetting it was to so many people. And in that video, I referenced Harry J. Epstein's video where they talked about, we knew SK was a flawed company. We knew they were mismanaged and they've been sold and bought and owned by Falcom and they were just always poorly run. But for some reason, people loved SK. Even though there were, uh, there still are great American tool companies such as Wright. And you know, I, I like I said in the video, I reflected upon it and it really came back to that sentimental value, that nostalgic feeling you get when you see these green cases. Most people grew up with SK in their lives. It was their fathers, their grandfathers, their uncles. You know, they just was a part of them growing up. Like I mentioned in that video, this set was to me. This was my dad's set that he bought in the mid 60s. And uh, you know, he's, he's now, it's in my possession, but I've seen this my whole life growing up. And I think, you know, I made the assumption in that video that was the case. And sure enough, wouldn't you know it, people responded. I'll take a look at some of these comments here. Just came across your channel and this is terrible. You struck a nerve. My dad gave me his quarter inch set when I was a kid. He had a bigger set also. And I still have the drive, breaker bar, and extension to this day. I'm 54 now. Long gone is the nice box they came in. But I still love the drive socket. Nostalgia for sure. Tarek says you're absolutely right. For me, it's nostalgia. I grew up using SK and Proto with my grandpa, and I continue to buy SK based on the great memories. Doug says, hi, Tom. Just want to give you a quick SK story. I wound up inheriting, of sorts, a nice selection SK tools from my best friend's father-in-law. He was a wonderful guy, World War II vet, Shriner and all around good man. I rarely use them, but when I do, I have great memories and laughs we had together. Pat says, I think it's both the nostalgia for SK and the fact that we may have lost the last best known value American tool line. My grandfather was a Sears and Robux man and Craftsman man, so I am as well. And when Craftsman went largely offshore, we still had SK. Sure, there were other wallet-friendly U.S. brands, but not with the SK name recognition. So that was just four of the many, many comments that were put in um, on that video. So if you haven't seen the video, check it out. Really appreciate everybody sharing their SK stories and comments. And in that video, I also asked for people to send in some pictures of some SK tools that are very nostalgic and sentimental to them and I'll show you those in a minute but I'm going to show you a couple of more of my favorites before we go to that. So I got a lot of things out here um, and I'll, I'm not going to go through all of them in this video. I was thinking though maybe I should uh, do an SK toolbox tour because almost every drawer I go into in my toolbox has something in it for SK, uh, whether it's pliers, wrenches, uh, socket sets, but these are pretty much the socket sets that I have that aren't in the toolbox. Um, and the first item I wanted to share with you is this, uh, just as nice, smooth as can be, 3H drive mini ratchet. If you don't have one of these, definitely see if you could pick one of these up. I believe they still make them. Um, this one I got on eBay a while back and it is just so smooth. I use it for almost everything because it's just the perfect size. You know, most of the time when you're working on things, if you don't need a ton of leverage, this is just great. Uh, the next item I wanted to share is another item I picked up not too long ago. I'll bring it over here to the camera. It's what they call the Frankenstein ratchet. So my dad sent me this socket set a while ago. He had got it from somebody. Um, and he had had it for a while, but it was missing the ratchet. I think it just had a, might have had a Craftsman ratchet in it. And I'm still looking for the period correct sockets to go in here. So there's some of them are there. It's kind of of this vintage of this, uh, so this style here was more, as you can see there, I want to say the early 90s um, that it, they kind of had that markings on it. Uh, they might have been during the Falcom era for all I know. I don't know enough about these Frankensteins, but all I know is that they're collectible and I wanted one. So I searched around for one of these and it's one of my favorites just because there's not a ton of them out there. And 
you know, compared to the round heads, they're just everywhere. It's not a good ratchet, don't get me wrong. It's chunky, it's clunky. It's not good because you could easily be ratcheting something. And uh, it's, it's just a terrible design. It would knock it out of, you know, position. So that's another and thing. And just a couple others. I picked this up for $10. I did a restoration on it. I did a video, cleaned it up, painted it. If I had to do it again, I would do it, you know, much better as my I've gotten better with my restorations absolutely love the set that scout crafter got me here look how clean that is if you haven't seen that video check it out oh there it is i mean it is clean as can be almost as good as to new old stock as you can get um so i really that one has a, a, a nice special place for me and i love the same one that like scout crafter got me that so here it is over here in the metric you know i love that because you come across the sae ones but not as frequently the metric one and then there's one more item i want to show you i gotta open my toolbox this is another one my dad sent me not too long ago and i absolutely love it it's a one-stop shop for any sort of bit you would need to go on to your ratchet this is a 33 piece super set they call it and you can tell it's a definitely the older uh, SK logo on it probably date this to the early 90s uh, maybe late 80s and it was almost complete when he sent it to me as you can see there it's got some of the newer SK sockets in it as I warranted out a couple that were beat up um, and down here actually there they are there's some V series ones that I put in there some craftsman ones because the t some of the torques were missing and I think I got T55 is missing, so I'm still on the hunt for one of those. And I'm on the hunt for a T10 because I believe that's a Taiwan one. So absolutely love that as well. Now let me show you some of the great pictures people sent in and some of the stories of their sentimental SK tools. And the first one is from Raw Bacon. Hey Tom, here's the pics of a set I got from my dad in 1956 making him 16 when I got it. I restored the box, as you can see from the fresh paint job. The case had a lot of patina on it and not much paint left. Uh, besides for having a great name like Raw Bacon, Raw Bacon, I uh, recognize his name. He's been commenting on Scoutcrafters videos and he always has the greatest comments and provides great insights. So it's truly an honor to have him uh subscribe to the channel and look how nice that came out huh is that a beautiful set or what great job restoring it and the next one is from k m farms all the tools my dad had growing up i have now fixed many a john deere combine with him and them and here they are wow they're beautiful looks like the sk wayne socket set up at the top some wrenches i love that toolbox to the right there i actually have one of them it's uh silver and i am gonna sh share that one day on the channel and i am gonna restore that one day and i think it might be a great set uh to maybe hand down to my son with some sk tools in it and then here's some other pictures there look how beautiful you could fix much farm equipment with that quarter inch half inch and three h drive and then here's from tony Here's an old SK half inch breaker bar with the most comfortable squishy green rubber handle that I have loved for years. Every single SK tool I own is a hand me down. That's why I love SK USA. It's just always been there. Thanks Tom. No, thanks Tony. And I love those squishy handles as well. I don't have one in my possession yet. But my dad has one and he plans on sending it up one day. He sent me a picture of it, so I hope to have one soon. And the next one's from Noah. And if you don't know Noah, he loves SK almost as much as me. Well, probably more. And he's been wearing his SK USA flag hat to show his love for SK. I love the red, white, and blue on there. And that thing looks like it's got some patina on it as well so thanks for sending that in noah next one's from john and it really got me my dad was a mechanic in the military 1950s and briefly owned the shop afterwards i love working alongside him when i was a little kid so if he was working on a car i'd put my bicycle alongside it lol he had an incredible tools among them were sk socket sets i vividly remember him handling me handing me a quarter inch set from his mechanic's chest complete with metal box and telling me these were mine now and to take care of them. That was nearly 50 years ago. 
Unfortunately, through teen years, marriages, moves, and life, these are the only two pieces I've managed not to lose. Sadly, the socket extension green handle drive box a long gone. I never thought much about them until I began to truly appreciate tools. So these are my treasured SK quarter inch drive and breaker bar. Out of my small collection of tools, these are among the few that mean the most. I'm slowly working on making the set complete again because of sentiment and nostalgia. Wow, that's something else. I think a lot of us could relate to, uh, you know, finding that appreciation again later in life. Let's take a look at these great pictures. And here Dave sent in another great story. Here's a couple pictures of my SK sockets and combination wrenches. My father was a tool guy and owned SK sockets. I inherited that tool gene. I bought most of my SK socket sets and wrenches at BJ's Wholesale back in the 80s and 90s. The two smaller sets I bought off Craigslist as part of a toolbox sale a couple of years ago. My father was a small business owner, Dairy Queen. We didn't have money to fix many many, for many years, so he would try to fix anything and everything. I followed his example and will try to fix anything. During our lean years, he didn't have money and was under a lot of pressure to keep the business growing. He would buy a small tool to release some pressure. That's where my love for quality tools is founded. I'm retired now and hope to pass my love of quality tools on to my kids and grandkids. SK was, in my impression, always a quality tool. I take joy in just being able to own and use this quality. I don't own any Rolex or Ferraris, but I have SK and I'm happy with that. Wow, very well said, Dave. And here is a great picture of Dave's tools. You can see that would definitely get the job done. Looks like a 3 8 metric, 3 8 uh, SAE. He's got the deep sockets over there. Looks like a half inch drive at the top there with the squishy handle and a quarter inch drive off to the right. And they look like they were all purchased about the same time based on the branding. And then here are some nice pictures of those old SK wrench. Oh, they don't look too old though. They have that nice super chrome finish on them. Six point and 12 point. And next up is Yoda Doug. And if you don't know Yoda, he's got a great channel. Uh, thanks to him, I've bought many a tools and got some great deals on some tools that he put on his show. And his favorite tools are the pocket screwdriver. It was his first SK tool and he got it when he first started his channel. Next up, his mom got him a master quarter inch uh, drive socket set for Christmas in 2020. And then the index and pry bar I've been wanting for uh for years and finally he was able to get it on the steals and deals and yeah we all love those index and pry bars and here's doug's index and pry bars they're just fantastic and those are the blow molded cases that you're seeing there uh they're a more modern twist on the old sk green metal ones but they're absolutely fantastic what's great about them is they don't get dinged and banged up and they have a SAE as well as metric in them, deep and shallow. Last but definitely not least is David. Here are some SK tools I inherited when my stepdad passed away. He was a good man and taught me a lot about tools and fixing things. When I took the black tray out of there to clean it, I found that flyer. You could send off for a jacket just like Pat Boone's. <laughs> so I'll show you that uh, flyer right after David's pictures. And you see that SK Wayne set to the right? I love those where the sockets don't have a plastic tray. They have that metal divider. They last forever that way versus the plastic tray like David mentioned. And how about that monkey wrench on the bottom? Is that a beautiful SK Wayne tool or what? And then here's that jacket that he was talking about. I, I have to be honest with you, I didn't know who Pat Boone was, but for uh, $12.95, you could get a wet look one um so <laughs> that's definitely comical it's always great when especially when you inherit tools and there's a piece of memories behind it so hopefully everybody enjoyed the 
little tribute to SK we did today. I really enjoyed all the comments that everybody shared, and I enjoyed seeing all the pictures everybody sent in. So thank you so much uh, for doing that. And, you know, if you didn't have a chance to send the picture and you want to share it, feel free to send it to me at TomGunTools at gmail.com. And if I can, I'll feature it or I'll tie it in to the end of another video. So there's a lot of uncertainty what's going to be going on with SK now that they're owned by Great Star. And I'm still going to continue to collect them. Um, will I can still continue to buy new ones? That's the million dollar question. And I think I would definitely consider, or I would, buy um, closeouts if they do a lot of the closeouts of the SK um, stuff that they have now. Maybe some of the stuff that's rebranded. I will definitely buy that if I could get some good deals on it. After that, I don't know. The jury is out on that. Let me know what your thoughts are as well on that if you choose to in the comment section. So like and subscribe. I got a ton of SK videos. If you want to check my channel out, I'll put some links in the description below of some more current and relevant ones that I've done recently. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.